What's up guys, we're back for some more MSQ action. We're about to take the uh, dirigible and head on to the next quest. Moving shortly, passenger has to keep hands, legs, and luggage inside the dirigible at all times. Are we sure that thing will stay in the air all the way to Yachtel? Are you ready? Bags packed and uh, goodbyes said. There's no going once we back up. No going back once we get on. I'm not nervous or anything. I'm just making sure that you're not nervous. Okay, who am I kidding? My knees won't stop shaking. Hey, will you hold my hand just until I've settled my nerves? Maybe ask Aaronville? Stick in the mud? He'd never let me live it down. There she is, third promise. Wait, just a moment. Hey, these people. Mablu and Tobli. Of course, of course. I'll wait as long as you need. Sorry to delay you, but we were able to discover the origin of Kryle's earring. What? Is that so? You said before that it gained popularity in Yachtaral as a protective ward for travelers, correct? That's right. We tracked down the elderly merchant to whom first sales are attributed. According to him, the design imitates an accessory worn by a foreign mage he met at a market some 20 years ago. Little did he know that charming taste of salt would prove to be a commercial triumph. A foreign mage wearing this earring could only be grandfather. Did the merchant happen to mention which market? One in Yachtel. Seems that you're already bound. What luck. Then I shall seek my next clue once we arrive. It's a mere coincidence that I brought my grandfather there. Yet another discovery to look forward to. Thank you both for coming all this way. Anything for the third promise. Good luck with the rest of the right. Thanks. I won't let you down. I've just got to board this dirigible and I'm as good as there. Last call for passengers to Yachto. she wins. Yachtel will test her metal without a doubt. The next Dawn servant must be willing to bear the full weight of this nation's history, no matter how heavy it may be. hunters who laid claim to this land call it the Azure Forest, Yachtel. Battered by meteors in ancient times and colored mesmerizing shades of blue and green by nature, it is easy to understand why the place is so named. The dirigible is pretty cool. It is here where the Shebral and Mamulja once battled for dominance that the right of succession would reach its climax. Yakta. Looks cool, looks nice.
Are you all right? I've never been good with heights. The vegetation is far denser than in Kozumalka. I suggest you pay more attention to the ground, unless you want to walk straight into a cenote. Cenote. A cenote? Sinkholes filled with rain and groundwater. Many meteors fell here long ago, it is said, and after they struck the earth, it became susceptible to erosion. Deep as some of the pits are, you'll not climb out in a hurry should you take a tumble. So, don't take a tumble. <laughs> It was one time! Is the Chabral community depicted in the Lay of Repast close by? Aye. We need but follow the path a short way west. Right. I can't stand here with my knees knocking forever. Let's get going. It's a big old map. Thicker vegetation comes reduced to visibility. Advise you keep someone inside at all times. down here. Good. Everyone's accounted for. Ikbrax is up ahead. Let's be on our way. Let's go attune to that crystal. not exaggerating about the sea notes. It would be a grueling ordeal to climb out of one. Sea notes. Thankfully we made it here without incident. Let's not delay any or dally any longer. Uh, what did we get here? A weapon coffer. Same exact. Cool, just put it in the. Just put it in the uh, armory. 
Oklamont's attention is divided between the perilously deep Cenote and the Ikbrax. Ready to head on in? First task to be found in the Elector. Hopefully our relative tardiness does not reflect poorly upon us. Third promise in her retinue, I, pro I presume. You presume right? I seek the Dawn, Seavers, Dawn Servant's Elector. Come and join us in the Garden of the Stars at the Village Center. One is waiting for you. Okay. Everyone? And who might that be? So, um, there's but one way to find out. Come let us follow him. Jaja, you some bitch. At last, we are graced by the presence of the third promise. If I'd known we'd be waiting on your mangy hide, I wouldn't have bothered with Ligarmanda in the first place. piece of weaver dung do you have any idea how many could have been hurt he doesn't give a shit <clears throat> now that we are assembled let us begin my name is Hunmuruk. as a brass rash i have the honor of serving as elector on behalf of my people As all four claimants must be present for this feat, we have eagerly awaited your arrival. Whoops. Third promise. If you would please join us. Thus far, you have faced each other as rivals. The feat of repast, however, will test your cooperation. You must complete this challenge in teams of two. What? You expect us to work with one of these weaklings? Be warned. Only the triumphant team will receive keystones. I advise you to cooperate with your partner. We're gonna team with Kiwana, right? Teams will be decided by lots. Oh Those shit. Those who draw the same color will be paired accordingly. And we're gonna get Bakul Zaja. Twelve forbid Wuklamat is paired with Bakul Zaja. After all he's put her through, I wouldn't blame her if she did something rash. I might even help. <laughs> oh, I'll say. Clements, please present your colors. I have red. Blue. Separate teams, then. And the rest? Red. Which means. 
together again, as fate would have That's it. That's good for us. <laughs> Victories as good as ours. With our claimants thus paired, so too is their opposition. <sighs> Not the one head. <laughs> It's so weird that that's an insult. Listen well, for the trial that awaits you is as follows. Each team is to prepare a sample of traditional Chebrol cuisine. Chebrook Bibil. We're cooking. And now we must cook another ludicrous feat. So it might seem, but there's bound to be deeper meaning to it. Agreed. Given that the very future of our nation is at stake, all parts of this rite must have significance. That gun blade looks so sick. Our promises have grown rather promising, wouldn't you say? Indeed. If I were to guess at the significance of the feat, Few things reflect the history and development of a culture so clearly as its culinary traditions. The variety of stewed dishes in Galian cuisine bespeaks their agricultural roots and cold climes, true. The peoples we've met on our journey, they've all had different practices involving food and drink. The Hanuhanu replenish their magical energies with reeds, while the Pelu Pelu have turned their fondness of beverages into a living. So basically, to know a people's cuisine is to know something of their ways. With each feat, we have deepened our familiarity with a given community's history and culture. Is this what Father intended for us all along? Probably. But a leader with his vision must see that the past doesn't hold the answers we need. It is through embracing innovation, not adhering to tradition, that we will usher Tuli Yolal onto a more prosperous future. The rules are simple. The first team to prepare and partake of satisfactory Shibruk Bivir will be deemed victorious. You will be judged by your sample's taste and appearance, as well as your adherence to appropriate cooking techniques. Okay. Kitchens have been made available for your use. Note that you may be asked to retry should your dish fail to pass muster. Let the feet of repast begin. I've never actually heard of Shibruk Bibio before. It's a light, I wonder. Fortunate that this feat's unique stipulations have frustrated Pakul Jaja's attempt to delay us. Serves him right, that's what he gets for endangering my people with his schemes. Why doesn't he just complete compete fairly? He's plenty strong and obviously has a mind for strategy, twisted though it may be. I'll never understand him. But 
Putting aside our competition for a moment, allow me to express how glad I am for this opportunity to work together. As I see it, our team possesses a strong, a distinct advantage. Huh, of course we do. Any team I'm on is bound to succeed. Precisely. You mean we have an advantage in numbers, yes? Competition has a team of six, the two claimants, Surreal Ja and Bakul Jaja's lackeys. Whereas we are a team of nine, three more people we can mobilize. The task suitably delegated should be a brief affair to learn the recipe and assemble necessary ingredients. Too easy. We mustn't be overconfident, lest we make a careless mistake that could have been easily avoided. First order business should be determining the recipe of Zerpable. We can hardly gather ingredients for a dish we know nothing about. Given the nature of this feat, asking for answers directly may prove less effective than simply observing the daily habits of the Zabral people. Let us gather here once we've seen. What's that? Number of spices, some unfamiliar to you, that's the blast. This one's called Ikoti. We mostly use it to add a bit of color to our most popular cuisine, but its medicinal benefits are significant as well. tell you, friend. The dish so delicious is meant to be shared. We are forbidden from divulging anything. Orders from Hanmu Rook himself. Jim Mentoring. Give me a fierce craving. I hope this is still at the market. Wink. and head to Mamuk. His feet is nothing but a fool's errand. You're the fool if you think we, he won't tan our hides for leather if we dare to return without enough keystones. Take it from the house cab before how difficult it'll a second time be. Bro, what? What are you looking at, salt liquor? Mind your own business. Damn. Unnecessary. colored banana peel has been neatly arranged around the ground, which appears to be smoking. Remember, it appears I've gone and dropped my initial, I mean the Jatika banana peel. Barely see it for all the steam in the ground oven. Just banana leaves, leaves there for What do we discover about Zakur Pabil? True to your prediction, the villagers were forbidden from educating us, or er, directly. When you were still preparing as one might 
staple dish observation of their techniques yielded clues enough. Local blending herbs and spices. Was too happy to describe the ones I didn't recognize. Okay. One in particular she attributed common all dishes Nikote. She called it. See if it's indeed a dish so Bukudis has often had claims, we should have confirmed confirmed our first ingredient. We did observe a cook buying bundles wrapped in the leaf of Najul or banana in certain locales. Use of subterranean ovens is common price. You know what's inside those bundles then, don't you? Nope. A sizzling slab of beef. It smells so good I can practically taste it. I think you were smelling what you wanted to smell. Cattle is uncommon and <laughs> unlikely to be an ingredient. Uh... Ebrook, without a doubt. Uh, this would be expected a dish called Zakur Pibbul instead. Do these fucking names. So to summarize, this dish is one of uh, flavored with a combination of spices that include a pink coat, steamed underground, and banana leaves. Given our assumptions are correct, we must now learn where and how to procure the ingredients. Stable cuisine, its ingredients will be close at hand, which is why I think Red and I scouted the surrounding forest while you were exploring the village. Between local vegetation and a wildly brook, we should have everything we need in regards to meat and spices. Yeah, leave it to Master Gleaner. With that, we should next divvy up our tasks. While some gather ingredients, others should make ready the kitchen. I can prepare the kitchen. Permit me to assist as well. Our ovens will doubtless require firewood, and I have some experience in his gathering. Cool, you can pick up fucking branches, dude. Good. I too should be glad to volunteer my aid. The rest of us will gather ingredients. Can make quick work of the spices and herbs myself. Mm. I'm happy to lead someone to a suitable brook if they'll perform the request deed. As for the Nijul leaves, I believe I'm capable of acquiring that much on my own. Be warned, you won't find Nijul in these parts. They only grow in the Shakatiya heartland forest far below these. Such an excursion may be time-consuming. Perhaps we have to try bartering first. If you encourage us communication with locals, after all. Would you accompany me on my errand? Sure. No better way to whet my appetite. Good, let us be about our tasks then. Come on, let's go and get those Neju leaves. The sooner we do, the sooner we can eat. This look of a man intent on finding bananas. To see if there are Nezhu leaves to be had in town. Perhaps the cook Orangier mentioned might be persuaded to spare us for you. I actually think this thing looks kind of cool. Speak with the cheerful cook. A 
Well, hello again. Did you need something? Now, Julie's for purposes other than good naturally. Fortunately, I've just used up my last. You'll have to travel to the lower forests for more. Source of its finest Najulis you'll find. Wild variants you sometimes see in city markets can't compare. I see. I'd hope to avoid such a lengthy venture, but if there's no other way to obtain our ingredient, then to Jatika Heartland we shall go. Let me just save you the trip. Traveling there requires that you go through, but is caved in to the recent storms I expect. What? But that means we can't get to where Najul leaves. But we can, can't we? If there's no other way of procuring him, then you would have suspended his feet, or else altered its objective. Perhaps. Anyways, I apologize for the interruption, but having overheard your conversation, I felt compelled to chime in. That's very kind of you. Any last minute advice you'd be willing to share? I'll need to undertake the feat of a repast with such an empty stomach. You may find it be a delicious but daunting dish to finish. Ah, I can't wait. Still, no of the leaves here, we can't travel for more. How are we supposed to gather all our ingredients? These seeds are meant to deepen our understanding of the people and cultures of Tulil. So perhaps there's something about that we have yet to learn, something of significance other than the recipe or ingredients. Oh, I see. Like who was the first to make it? It's history, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. If it's Yachtel's history you're interested in, Yachtel's history, you're in. you should start with the Old War. Between the Zabral and the Mamulja, right? These forests have borne witness to centuries of warfare, the evidence of which remains a scar upon the earth. To know the end of that bloodshed is to know Zakru Pabil. What does that steam have to do with the bloodshed? Precisely the question we must answer. Vexing through such a detour may seem. I can think of no other way to approach this feat. In that case, you may wish to vis visit the settlement ruined by war. Well, that's a short distance to the east. The village of Elon Asua. Understood. Thank you for your help. Come on, let's go see this place. some map action here. So we're right here. Nice. It's a pretty big map for this one. Haste for all we know, our competitors may be on our heels.
level 100. Some little shacks. So this is the village, or what's left of it. It's a place of light and life. My great grandfather called it home, in fact. Look you! I didn't know you were in Yak Tell. Pick up lumber when I heard the third promise was on our way to the site of the deep historical significance. This guy again. Immediately saw another opportunity to be of service, so I followed you here. It's a shipwright who came to our aid during the feat of reeds. Pleasure. You remember the third promise's uh, retinue, I presume? For the moment, I suppose I am. My name is Kawana. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Kwana, that's a good name, a familiar name. Where have I heard it? He's gonna grovel. Oh shit. Is it the second promise of Tululio? <laughs> the guy dressed the dancer of its own son as some common retainer. Such a disrespect cannot be excused. Please take up your gun and. Oh come on, not this again. I take no offense, so please do not dwell on it. Alright then, I shouldn't dwell on it. And bright on cue, at least he's consistent. I understand you wish to learn about, uh, while well, I'm forbidden by the divulging information, I'm happy to share what I know of Yachtel's history. Ooh, tired tonight. We'd appreciate that. In his most basic sense, the conflict of the Zabral and Mamulja was one of land. The Mamulja live in the lower forest, where the thick canopy obscures the sun and the soil is unforgiving to crops. It showed them to covet the upper forest among the Zabral as they launched a determined campaign to seize it for themselves. Get advantage ever favors the higher ground, and Zabral forces held the upper hand against the invaders, rebuffing them time and again. But as the state of this village would attest, the tide eventually turned. What brought it about? Something you know all too well, blessed siblings. You must understand, the Mamujo wants a uh, peace as much as war with themselves as they were with others. The Hobibo, Bonoa, Dupero each sought to assert dominance over others, even as they engaged the Abraljaw in battle. In an effort to strengthen bonds and discourage infighting, Hobigo and Boniwa leaders arranged a marriage between their children. However, this political measure altered the course of history in, no, in ways no one could have ever imagined. It's long believed that partners of differing clans could not have children together. But then it happened. The child who uh, arrived who shared the blood of Hobigo and Boniwa both, a two-headed Mamulja. Blessed with tremendous physical strength and magical prowess, he grew into a mighty warrior before eventually arising the first Art Autarch, ruler of all three clans. Such qualities would dispose of anyone to leadership, character notwithstanding. The Autarch's rule, the newly united Mumble Jaw became a force to be feared, and the war soon came to a head. I believe it's best you see the results firsthand. Let us visit another battlefield from that time, and I shall continue the tale.
This is where most battles were fought between the Shabral and Mamulja, the Shobrit Cinderfield. A field of cinders, indeed. How fierce their clashes must have been. The war over these lands began after the Yorquis' departure some 500 years ago. And for four centuries thereafter, the two enemies repaid violence with violence. A constant stream of minor skirmishes punctuated by massive slaughter. Until father ended their endless conflict 80 years ago. Accompanied by a retinue of only six, the Dawn Servant opposed both armies and brought the fighting to a standstill. First they sealed Bali Armanda at full strength, and now this. It was during this armistice that both sides gathered for negotiations at the Dawn Servant's behest. It's here. Oh no. Tripping. For too long you have been bound by your ancestors' violent legacy. It is past time you broke free of it. Tell that to the scales come. We fight to protect what is rightfully ours. If not for their greed, we'd be living in peace. Buff your tails and scurry off then. Cowards like you ill deserve the bounty of this forest. Even should one of you succeed in vanquishing the other, your triumph will last only until a new invader arrives. Tell me, do you know of the vast continent that lies far to the east, where numerous nations vie for dominance? What? You do not. And why should you? Affairs beyond the salt we have no intention to cross are of no consequence to us. Not until those affairs come to Tural, like our honor visitor here. Hmm. He's from across the ocean. I've been to the ocean before, and it's nothing but water farther than the eye can see. What sort of vessel could possibly reach its end? That such technology exists is indisputable. As is foreign powers awareness of Tural. If any such country were to develop a taste for Turali soil, and bring to bear the might of innovations we can only imagine. What do you suppose happens then? You do not know the warlords of the East, but you know that if they came, they would not settle for a single forest. By joining hands, we might create a unified front. An alliance capable of repelling them or any other foe. There is no greater proof of this than my companions and I. Alone we are weak, but together we triumphed over Valigarmanda. True. What? True. You defeated the Skyruin? 
I'd take you for a liar if this thing of our own defeat wasn't still fresh. Their coordination was indeed impressive. How the Pelu Pelu stymied our efforts to cripple the Yokui's legs and defend our ballistas. And when we withdrew to strike again from a distance, the Hanu Hanu called the winds to make our arrows miss their marks. In seeking to exploit their weaknesses, we only subjected ourselves to their strengths. <laughs> Those strengths are born of cooperation. The guiding principle of the nation we envision. But our feud has lasted for centuries. How do you expect us to join hands now? Ha-ha! <laughs> Give us an evening to convince you. Who's back there? And so began that legendary banquet. One would not expect sworn enemies to abruptly drink to each other's health, and, indeed, a tense silence hung over the venue. But then, the dawn servant called for the exchange of traditional cuisine. So it was that the Mamulja partook of spiced meat, and the Chabral steamed Najul. Before long, delight manifested upon the faces of those present, each side impressed by the other's dish. Seeing this, the dawn so servant like laughed and declared once more. It's kind of cool. That makes sense. Their flavors, he said, would be even better combined. And he proceeded to help them prepare the new creation. That's she brought people, I'd wager. <laughs> it is a marriage of Chabral and Mamulja cultures, and proof of their newfound cooperation. It's kind of cool. The dawn servant had asked for a single evening, but the feasting is said to have lasted three days and three nights. So delicious was their repast. In the end, a peace accord was reached, and the Dawn Servant's words at that time still illuminate our way forward. Ignorance begets a strife. Understanding begets fellowship. that he ended an age-old conflict with food. It's all so absurd that somehow so very papa I couldn't help but laugh. Ignorance begets strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Now then, I trust you understand the significance of Shibruk Pibil and the history it is with you. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the story with us. What's wrong? Someone was there, you say? Perhaps our competition is cooking up some scheme or another. <sighs> sure my kid's not awake. and half baked, no doubt. Okay. 
Hopper really did live up to his words. He traveled the land to learn about our people's myriad cultures. And now we're doing the same. Banana's still way heavy upon Kawana's mind. What is this? What is that barding? I don't know. Excuse his value insight to the uh, Zabruk Pavil. There's no close to procuring the necessary Neju leaves, unless. It's a historic feast coming up with the monument, for instance. Want me to show you. Faction, something like that, and race like arms against each other. Since this feat demands a journey through history, I thought a logical little monument like this might steer us true. Would you help me search the area for clues? Tell me if anything catches your eye. Sure thing. Here, the soil has been recently overturned. Ooh, someone buried a box. Oh well. Been satisfied to find only a hint, but here they are. Fresh Najulis. Doing it at wagers? Poetry and hiding within this battlefield given it was essential to the war they helped end. Clever. So we planned it all from the start. Thank you again, Wakivu. We wouldn't have found these leaves without your help. It's my honor to render assistance. With apologies to present company, allow me to offer my encouragement as well, third promise. Ever since I witnessed your performance at the feet of reeds, I've been certain that you are the claimant most worthy of leading our nation. All devised solutions to the Hanu Hanu Zealand crops, but you alone sought to know their culture and revive Ihuhana, even if it seemed unrelated to your task. My humble opinion, no one cares more for the people of Tululio what they hold dear. I should gonna require the historical musings of an old shipwright. I am ever at your service. For now, I take my leave. He's like Screw you, Kawana. Can it argue with that? Yikes. We have what we need, let us return to Ikebrax. out this way we might as well there's probably like an aether current out here too if I had to guess it feels like it would be right up in this corner or something
definitely went the wrong way there. Successful. Yeah, this should be back soon, I expect. I hope so. I'm famished. How did everyone fare? Got the Neju leaves. Wakivu came along and helped us find them. Wakivu is here? I would like to say hello. Yes, he gave us an important history lesson. Exposition. Damn, I got this fucking itch. And that's the history lesson. Jaja brought an end to centuries of warfare surprises me little. But to achieve said peace through cuisine is something else entirely. Leave to my old man to find the oddest of solutions, but how about the rest of you? Is the kitchen ready? Everything should be in order. Karanji and I made another tour of the village and borrowed the cooking utensils we need, with no mention of what we needed them for, of course. I am pleased to report we are stocked with the finest firewood this forest has to offer. Spoken like a true expert. Aaronville and I found our apric, so we should have meat aplenty. It was a spirited creature, so much that its hunter fell down a synod trying to catch it. What part of never speak of this to anyone did you not understand? Lol. Picked a good portion of local herbs, with particular attention to the seeds that yield Ikote. Told our resident astrologian divined the appropriate measurements for the seasoning as well. Astrologian. I, the further inquiry, I did determine the ideal something of seeds. And all that remains is to prepare the dish itself. I presume at least one of us is among the versed in the culinary arts. Hardly claim profound skill, but I've cooked for myself. You can leave the rest to me. Cryo, don't fuck this up. And you, I hope, as I recall, you're an accomplished culinarian. Oh, for sure. I'm level 90, for sure. Oh, my mouth is watering already. Without further delay, then. Still time. I shall prepare our sample at once. At first, I wasn't sure about being stuck with the one head, but better that than playing nanny to the mewling house cat. <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet, Buckle Jaja. No one cares what you think. Oh shit, got him. Huh. Act up all you like. Victory will be ours. It's ready. Crowd, don't fuck this up. Apologies for the wait. 
We submit to you our Shibrook Pibil. <gasps> this looks amazing! The dish is prepared by using the culinary techniques of the Mamulja to cook the spiced meats favored by the Jabral. It is a symbol of peace between their two peoples after centuries of war. Hmm. Both the ingredients and your methods appear to have been correct. Now then. How do we do? That's like a tiny little taco. In taste, texture, and aroma, you have recreated Shibrook Bibil. Admirably. Let's go. Granted, anyone might well achieve similar results by following the recipe to the letter. But you went a step further. You sought to learn the cultural significance of the dish, about Yoctel's history of violence and your father's role in ending it. Your willingness to take lessons from the past befits aspiring dawn servants. And for that, I commend you. Hell yeah. All that remains is to partake of your creation. Through understanding, it's gained only through experience. Now this is something I'm definitely good at. She's like, it tastes like shit. Ahem. I believe we have yet to receive our assessment. Ours is also a faithful example of Shibruk Pibil, as you will no doubt agree. I see. While your effort looks the part, unlike the second and third promises dish, it lacks its defining aroma. P -p Preposterous! The meat was marinated in spice before being steamed in an earthen oven. This is Shibrook Pibil. Oh. And what about the Jatika banana leaf? Oh. I, I... It's because of you that we couldn't get any damn leaves! You can't fault us! But the second and third promises had no such difficulty, did they? That which they needed, they acquired oh, simply by showing interest in our history and heritage. Oh, it's just some crusty old leaf. What difference could it make? Your dish lacks an essential ingredient. Disrespect. As you have failed to demonstrate an adequate understanding of Shibruk Pibil, I must deem your performance unsatisfactory. Your team will not receive keystones. <sighs> this was stupid anyway. Gonna start keystones. Oh, is he gonna have like. Uh oh. He's pissed. His ambition only grows more intense. That someone could harbor such dark thoughts towards family. Uh oh. What do I care for this sham of a feat? 
I can always take what I need later. This is delicious! The brook is so tender it melts in your mouth, and the way Lina Jolie frowns out these spices is sublime. Some good this eats. is the taste of harmony. Someone who only knows brute force and deception could never appreciate mm -mm. it. Got him. Choke on your harmony. Damn. Come, come. Finish your meal. That too is part of the feat. Give me my keystone. Don't have to tell me twice. Ah, that was please. You've got real culinary talent. If you ever tire of adventuring, you can always be my personal chef. <laughs> Was palatable enough, I suppose. Oh, you didn't like it. She's like this bitch. To you, who have successfully performed the feat of repast, I present these keystones. Only one feet left. Well, I should get going then. See you at the next one. I'm glad that I uh, wasn't paired with one of the others. <laughs> Backhanded compliment, but sure. We'll we can do it. better than that, surely. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The sixth keystone is ours. Thanks for all your help, everyone. something important um was there any ship look people left I could really use another helping oh, that's silly Wook Lamont so silly So good, I'm already looking forward to having Zip a zip brick pibil again. Cry me in a left ingredient, you'll love it. I'm thinking to buy more for the road myself. If you don't do this right. Cool. New wares are now available from the merchant. What wares? Anyways, I think I'm in this one here, guys. It's the perfect place to stop. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you with the next one. Take care.